right, today is Saturday, October 21st, and it's Saturday, the weekend, and I'm just doing a follow-up video. Um, well, it's more like a, a confessional video, I guess. I have a confession to make, and that's I've been a bad boy, and my mom is gonna, or my wife, is gonna take me out behind the woodshed and beat my ass with a apple tree branch. No, so here's the deal. So yesterday I posted a video where I showed the recap of this last week of trading where I did these three money glitch trades that I've been doing throughout the week. If you missed those, you can go back and check out those videos. But yesterday, since it was Friday, the day that they expired, finished it up, made the last video with the final results for the three trades trades that were made during the week. But what I didn't include in that video was that yesterday was also a day where I entered new trades for the, this coming up week. So I usually always enter these trades on Friday, for, uh, which expire the following Friday, or on Monday, which expire like three or four days later of the same week. And so yesterday was the day where I entered a couple of these trades. And normally I wouldn't even make this video, but one of the trades um, I closed out on the same day. And it's something that I call like a go, it's a, like a, like a go fast. And it's something that happens occasionally when there's some movement, some volatility on the day that it gets opened. And I'm calling this trade a go fast because it was a trade that I opened up uh, midday on Friday. And I was expecting to hold it all the way through the week until the following Friday, like a, you know, like a seven day trade. But due to the market action yesterday, we had a good down move. It got into profit very quickly and it hit a level of profit where it just made sense for me to take it off on the same day. And I'll, I'll explain why I do that. So again, I put the trade on midday and um, I was expecting it to be a one week long trade. And I was expecting to make between one to $2,000 out of it. But as the market moved down right after I put the trade on, like two hours later after I put it on, the trade was in profit up like seven, 800 bucks. So when that happens, uh, this happens occasionally. So what I do is when it hits a certain point of profit, I just take the trade off, even if it's the same day. And I just kind of calculate that by like, for example, if I was expecting to make $1,000 in seven days, just divide that by like say seven days and see what the daily profit is. So $1,000 divided by seven. So let's say um, $1,000. Let's just say that I'm expecting to make $1,000 over the week on, the, on a particular trade. And I divide that by seven, seven days. And that comes out to 142. So I, when I break it apart like that, I'm, I'm just looking at it as I, I break it apart day by day. So I'm expecting to make 142, $142 a day at a minimum on this trade. So when the, when the trade uh, like gets into profit super quickly on the exact same day, I just have a rule where if I've on the same day that I put it on, if I hit a profit target, that's like three times what I'm expecting to make on a daily basis. So in this case, it would be 142 times three. It'd be $426. So kind of like the rule of thumb is like if I'm able to make three times the profit amount of what I would uh, normally expect to make on a daily basis, I'll take that trade off and then I'll just put a new one on either the following day if there's, uh, um, if there's enough time left. Or in this case, since it happened on Friday and I usually put these trades on either Friday or Monday, that means I have Monday still to put this trade on. So I just took the profit on this trade which uh, gets me out of the trade over the weekend, which is nice, like from a risk point of view, like say something crazy happens somewhere, I'm able to be totally out of the market over the weekend. And I'm also sort of able to double dip. So for example, if I had just waited and held on to this trade, even though it was looked like 850 bucks, this way I'm able to capture that profit, like lock it in, take the whole trade off the table super early on, and basically get two trades in for the same week. So that's my big uh, so-called admission. And I just didn't want to include it in yesterday's video because I wanted to keep the video as simple as possible, not complicated with like this other trade. But it's such a cool concept and uh, uh, the ability to do that kind of like double dip, you know, like with a go fast trade like this, that I wanted to create a separate video for it. And it's just something that I'm looking at as I'm watching the positions. If I see a, a position get into a profit super fast, like it did yesterday, within a couple hours, it was up 800 bucks and more, or more. I'll just take that profit on that same day. And it's like a, a bonus trade for the week. And then I can place another trade the following day, or in this case on Monday. So that's what that trade looks like. Again, this is a one week trade. It gets out, uh, it expires one week from today. And you can see with this trade, the uh, total profit potential to the downside was 1,850. So there's a guaranteed profit if it goes all the way down to zero of at least 1,850. On the upside, there's a guaranteed profit of 1,349. And then there's all this area in here, which is the Theta, theta Mountain here or the Theta Tent. 
And so this trade was put on about midday Friday. And with 10 minutes left, I just took a look at it. And sometimes these will come into profit really quickly. So you can see with this one, because the down move continued, that this is showing a current profit up around eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars. Uh, in just like a couple hours. So my thinking is I just go ahead and I, if, if, if I can get a, a return like that in just a couple hours, I'll just go ahead and I'll book that return, you know, bank that money, take that thousand bucks or 800 or 900 bucks, whatever it is. Uh, and then just wait till Monday to place uh, another one. Cause I can put these on as late as like Monday, sometimes even Tuesday of the, of the same week that they expire. So that's what I did with this trade. And what I got filled at was, uh, closing out the trade for a total profit of $850. And that, again, that's just in a couple hours. And the plan with this is just to look at re-entering the same exact position on Monday or, you know, maybe slightly tweak depending on where the market's at on Monday morning. But I wanted to just throw this in there. This is another thing with these money glitch trades that I like that you don't have to even wait the entire week. If you can pop into profit quickly, like in the, let's say within one day or two, and you can bank the majority of the profit, I'll just take it the profit, close it down and not even worry about it. And if I have enough time, like in this case where it's same day, the Friday I was able to open and close it, um, I can put the exact same trade or a similar trade of that size on on Monday and then potentially bank another you know one to two thousand bucks so that's just kind of a bonus add-on update to the trades that I made this last week and I'll be looking to put more trades on this next week on Monday so if you like to follow along with me as I make these trades just make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel below just hit that subscribe button and also join me on my website and I'll leave a link to my website in the description below all right that's it hope you're having a good weekend see you later Oh,